Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to the Faith Revival. Today I just wanted to reflect on a saying from the Prophet ﷺ, which is very special if you just think about what we've been through thus far in this series. The Prophet ﷺ, he says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ تَعَالَى يُعْطِي الْمَالَ مَنْ أَحَبَّ وَمَنْ لَا يُحِبَّ Allah gives wealth to those that He loves and those that He doesn't love. Allah gives, gives wealth to those that He loves and those that He doesn't love. Meaning the Prophet ﷺ says that the possession of this world is so worthless in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that if this dunya was worth to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the wing of a mosquito, then he would not let a disbeliever have a sip of water from it. If this world was even worth the wing of a mosquito in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he would not even let a disbeliever have a sip of water from it. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't care for this world, so he lets, the dun- he lets the dunya be given to whoever he wants. The materialistic world, you know what, take it. Can you imagine, subhanAllah, these people that curse Allah day and night, people that do horrible things, and Allah still allows them to be provided from his sustenance. So Allah gives wealth to those that he loves and those that he does not love. But the Prophet ﷺ says, وَلَا يُعْطِ الْإِيمَانَ إِلَّا مَنْ يُحِبْ But Allah does not give faith except to those that He loves. So Allah gives wealth to those that He loves and those that He does not love. But Allah only gives faith to those that He loves. What does that mean? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that if He has given you iman, then He loves you. That's, a, that's an indication in and of itself. If I have even a small amount of faith in my heart, that's a sign that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves me. That's a sign that I've earned His love and I don't want to sacrifice that love. I don't want to give up that love from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because it's precious. The greatest gift He ever gave to me is this faith. And He gave it to me out of love. When someone gives you a gift out of love, then you treat that gift so much more sacred. And when you view your iman as a personal gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a gift that Allah gave you because He loves you, Allah delivered that iman to you out of love, what are you doing to guard that that precious possession, that precious gift that symbolizes the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to you? And what does abandonment of that gift truly mean? Now what this means is subhanAllah when you're talking about that, Imam Muhanifa rahimahullah has a very beautiful reflection on knowledge which I'll transfer to faith as well. Imam Muhanifa rahimahullah used to thank Allah for the ilm that he gave him, used to thank Allah for the knowledge that he gave him. And of course, true knowledge is faith. True knowledge is faith. And someone asked him why he always says alhamdulillah for ilm. And he said that Allah says in the Quran, wala in shakartum la azidannakum. And if you are grateful, I will increase you. If you're grateful for something, I will increase you. And from that, the scholars derive that saying, Alhamdulillah ala ni'mat al-iman, wa kafa biha min ni'mah. Alhamdulillah ala ni'mat al-iman, wa kafa biha min ni'mah. As is attributed to some of the pious predecessors, all praises and thanks to Allah for the blessing of iman, and that's enough of a blessing. Alhamdulillah ala ni'mat al-iman, wa kafa biha min ni'mah. Meaning if Allah, gave, if Allah chose not to give me anything else but He gave me iman, that in and of itself is a great blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I'm satisfied and I'm grateful and I'm pleased with it. And not only that, if I thank Allah for the blessing of that iman, then Allah will increase me in iman inshaAllah ta'ala. So let's thank Allah for that iman and let's ask Allah for His love. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love us and may Allah make us amongst those who are beloved to those that love Him, and may Allah put in our hearts the love of those that are beloved to Him, and the love of any action that brings us closer to His love. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khayran. See you all next time, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.